In the highlands of Guatemala, you'll find some of the world's most beautiful scenery. You'll also find some of the world's friendliest people. But living in the highlands has some downsides. Mayan women typically cook over open fires indoors. Every time they light those fires, they put their health at risk, and they endanger the health of all the other family members as well. That's because the smoke from cooking stays indoors. Children exposed to the smoke inhale the equivalent of three to five cigarettes every day. Lung problems are common, shortening lives and using up sorely needed cash to pay medical bills. Aldersgate United Methodist Church in Alexandria is reaching out to help solve these problems. Each summer, the church sends a group to Guatemala for a week to build simple stoves for villagers. The stoves allow the smoke from cooking to be vented outside. The Aldersgate volunteers are pitching in to help a larger effort, the Highland Support Project. This program was begun in 1993 by Guadalupe Ramirez and Benjamin Blevins, brought together by their love for the people and now a married couple living in Richmond. The volunteers return knowing that they have helped reduce lung disease in a remote land, but they accomplish much more. Maddie Davidson has been on two of the mission trips. She's a senior at St. Stephen's and St. Agnes School in Alexandria. I knew I wanted to do something like this, um, and I thought, okay, this, this would be the perfect opportunity. So I said, sign me up. I'm excited. There are several purposes to the mission. I think um, two of the most important ones are um, two, well, three, three, three very important ones. Um, not only that you're building them the stove, and which reduces the lung problems, because um, they cook over the open open fire pit. The mine women cook over the open fire pit, and usually they live in one room huts, and so the smoke um, travels throughout the room and gets in the lungs of the children and the parents, and that's extremely harmful to their lungs. So that's um, that's the health issue, but. Um, what one of the biggest purposes for me that's kind of stuck with me is building a relationship, speaking with them, um, telling them about your life, them telling you about their life. Also, another big one is empowering the Mayan women. Um, the deal is that if um, you build the stove for their family or the group of families that shares the stove, they'll join the women's circle and it's all to empower the women. The women's circles in Guatemala are helping Mayan women recover from the hardships of a 30-year civil war. Circle members learn how to improve their mental and physical health and prevent illness. They learned how to start and expand small businesses. They learned how to become community leaders. The stoves built by the Aldersgate volunteers are more efficient than the open pit fires. This means less time tending the fire and extra time that Mayan women can spend in the women's circles. As excited as they are, volunteers can still have a twinge of doubt before they arrive in the Highlands. I had no idea what the people were going to be like. I, I'm, I'd am i like to say I'm an optimist, so I was positive about it. I was thinking, okay, they're going to be um, welcoming and nice people, but I, I didn't really know, honestly. And um, But I knew right away when I got there that the first after, well, the first ceremony, the welcoming ceremony that the Mayan women put together for us, they brought out flowers and um, all sorts of beautiful flowers from their own gardens and came and gave us hugs and they had, hadn't even said hi to us yet. They were just, um, so that's, that's when you kind of knew. It took very little time for me to figure out that these were just incredible people. The volunteers expect to have a positive impact on the women they're helping they may not expect the impact the trip can have on them. In the very beginning, when after we were greeted by the Mayan women, we all uh, joined in a circle, and um, the Mayan women led a prayer. And it went on for two or three minutes, I think, one of the longest prayers I've ever heard. And, and it was incredible, this kind of hum of voices that um, just went on for three minutes, and then... Um, 
it would kind of die down a little bit. One, one woman would stop and then the other and then the other. And then finally you would hear the last woman speaking and, um, and then it was over and there was a silence. And, um, that was also a pretty incredible moment for me. I'm surprised I haven't mentioned this yet because it's, it was one of the biggest things for me too, where, um, the evening worship, we had several nights of worship and, the most meaningful was the very last night. I, I think it was the very last night of the last summer I went when uh, we washed each other's feet. And um, I knew a bunch of my friends were crying. I was crying too. I'd say if you're on the fence about going to Guatemala or not, I'd say just go. Because you, I think everyone's kind of on the fence go, going to, taking a week out of your summer, traveling to a foreign country to do this. Um, Anyone be, would be a little bit skeptical, but it's changed my life like nothing has before.